everybody, it's uh, RetroCare, RetroCare Reviews, and yeah, it's going to be haircut time here on the channel. Also, another review that is long overdue here. Kamarar Amazon's Season 2, and I think on my previous video, I said I was going to have a show air writer to represent us, and basically his thoughts on the uh, channel and, well, the show in, in question. Um, funny thing, I'm not kidding, it was going to be Shadow Moon, and, um... This happened. I, I got the... I got the shot. Ah, my armor really sucks. Yeah, no duh. I got this. No, he is gonna be in the review. With me. Yeah? I'm being the review. You know what? How about... Uh, you know... I, I can do it with both of you guys. No. We are sworn rifles for 30 years. This isn't gonna happen. So this fight will take forever. Seriously? <laughs> and you know what? He gets our blessing to the review. Fine! Fine! So, I get to review? Yes! You get to review it! Awesome. Uh, be right back, guys. Ow, this armor sucks. Oh! And that was a day ago, so... Uh, feeling sore after a fight like that aside. Let's finally get to my overall thoughts of episodes 1 through 3 of Kamara Amazon. I technically did see 4, but as spoilers, I'm not going to go ahead and see it because TV Neon did not sub uh, episode 4 just yet. Um, Let's get to uh, what I thought about season 1. Um, A lot of cards probably threw my thoughts throughout season 1. It was definitely the Toku show of last year for me. I really liked it. It was a very interesting series. I'm ashamed that I never really got around to get the writer belt, but it was over 150 bucks the last time I checked, and on Amazon prices versus, I guess, whatever Season 2's belt's going to be after the show, it'll just take the rest of my life trying to get. It's basically like uh, KMS Drivers or Complete Selections, for those who don't know, um, at this point. So, um, where to start with Season 2? Um, well, the story is taking place five years after the first season, so you technically have a new cast that you could get behind if you didn't see season one, which is really good. Um, the Amazon that they have for season two isn't Omega or Alpha yet. Uh, even watching season four, uh, Jin was nowhere to be seen yet. Um, Haruka did show up by episode two, but he looked more intent with a better, uh, goal or focus. Um, again, I guess if there's too many links, uh, link in the description for, uh, Jay Japan, uh, sorry, Jay Toku's, um, uh, channel, because he's actually been up to speed with his vlog series about the entire series so far. Uh, oh, it's Japan, I mean, uh, I'm getting these Toku names mixed up. Anyway, um, speaking of my mix-up, Jay Toku was another, uh, Kiss Asian-y kind of site that I found... Uh, first, before uh, Kiss Asian got it, uh, with the TV Neon subs. If you want to pick either one, it's your call. However, as I've come to realize with both of these sites, they love ads. So, technically, you are supporting piracy, and you can't disable the ad blocker. you got to need a better one than anything. So, that that's minor gripes aside, technically. On the whole... Um, the TV Neon subs I did see uh, was well, re well represented. I think if Overtime's on track, there are maybe one or two episodes up ahead because Overtime likes to fast forward some stuff. Um, so that's about it. Um, so the Amazon that was basically the new guy until both our articular Amazon showed up was... Um, oh crap, I don't know the kid's name off the top of my head. Sorry in advance to the new Amazon. Uh, link in the description for his character name. However, his Amazon uh, Kamara name was Kamara Nero. Uh, I don't know if it's Neo, Nero. I'm going to say Nero. Brother Nero. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess mini, I guess double review. I have been up to date with everything uh, x aid and the insanity of Dan Kotro, a.k.a. Dangerous Zombie uh, level, I guess, X by the time he passed away. Yeah, spoilers. I know what was going on there in that entire story arc. And it was hands down hilarious to awesome best kind of toku so if you're into x8 definitely stick to the dan uh story arc it's well worth the time and if you're a wrestling fan he's definitely brother nero <laughs> he is definitely a uh, broken man heart he's everything you want to be there um so minor uh mini 
spoilers, I guess, on that side. Um, Nero's team is basically like an old childhood friends of his that become a social media guys, and this is all throughout episode one. Because there are some interesting things that happen in episode two and three. Ooh. Um, anyway. Um, so their job is basically to use social media like this to just, you know, uh, film and shoot, uh, hunts that they do for Amazons. Because at this point in the series, it's kind of commonplace that a lot of small pocket-sized strike teams will just, you know, bloom all over the place, which makes a lot of sense in the end. Um, Nero was always disinterested. He was just in it to kill Amazons. He was not in it to, like make friends or anything. He was just, like, shrugging, kind of mindless and stuff like that. Until he met Ayu. Um, at the end of the episode, I think a rival strike team that he probably grew up with because he was a born Amazon, as the episode will keep on uh, exposing, exposing with the expositions, uh, explaining that he was born from it, and the opening sequence of probably a kid version of him uh, being found by a strike team in Alpha, looking at the distance going... <sighs> probably in character, but maybe it's like, oh, you thought season one was dark as hell. Hold my beer. I'm going to make it darker. Yeah, that's probably going to be my uh, Toku meme if I can find the, that pick for uh, Toku memes live for uh, RVT live streams. Yeah, I'm still in the RVT live streams. If you want to come around, say, the 8 or 9 o'clock hour, that's probably where my dream will, my contributions to the memes show up. So, shameless link to the live stream aside. Um... It was a lot of dark filters. It was a kind of horror movie-ish. Not the uh, first to the next kind of mentality. It's its own thing, clearly. Um, and uh, episode one basically ends with him finding about Ayu also being an Amazon. And technically a female writer. But so was Momichi, Momichian from uh, season one. Except he was just a full-blown kaijin that just got... That just works for the company. So it's kind of the same lines there. Except a lot more. Episode 2. Basically explains she died. Uh, when Omega found her. Uh, a few years ago with her family. Her dad turned into an Amazon. Killed everyone. And ate her eye. So yeah. How was your birthday? <laughs> uh, crappy jokes aside. It was actually a really interesting scene. Um, It was... It was a slow build too. Like they built up um, Ayu's birthday with his fa with her father and everything. Um, I don't know the full spoilers why um, he may have turned on his family or maybe he was an Amazon beforehand. Uh, later episodes are trying to explain that. Uh, again, I don't even have the right amount of spoilers to explain the context. Best guess, uh, I guess, as a writer theory, writer theory. <laughs> anyway, um, it was probably an Amazon during the first season that. Um, Haruka, Haruki found, and, um, I, again, I'm, I apologize if I got, uh, Omega's last, I guess, full name wrong, uh, link in the description for his full name, too. Um, he was probably helping them out, like, a neighborly kind of thing in the five years since season one, so, uh, also, Omega was basically a ghost, dude was nowhere until just this new season showed up, so, in context of that story, he was basically... Either a homegrown terrorist or something like that. Again, I don't know my politics when it comes to Togu or paralleling it to it, to it in uh, Japanese politics. Um, however, episodes two and three go on a subplot about Armor Zone Company. It's basically a water filtration company that basically helps you know water coolers, stuff like that, for offices, gyms, things like that. And turns out, uh, it turns people into Amazons without their knowledge. Kind of like, um, Cabin Fever, if Eli Roth had, knew how to do a toku, essentially. Uh, they all turn to Amazons, everybody goes crazy, bloodthirsty, and having their first kills in mass public places. So, either there was a villain behind this, or shit just happened, or company shenanigans, we don't know yet. It's a very interesting plot so far. Also, those social media guys that I told you about, well... Two out of the three guys kind of died. <laughs> and um, what I didn't know last time, uh, coming into episode two, was that one of the members of the strike team, I think their leader, uh, was finance, fi fi doing finances and basically being personal security for the social media team so that they could you know keep their business afloat, hunt on Amazon to get the right amount of intel. And he comes in, he's about to give them their stuff, and then sees them, you know, turning into Amazon. He's like, all right, fuck it. Sorry for the gun noises, but yeah, he busts out a rifle, just blows them all to hell. 
cleans the place up in episode three. What's left of the social media team, I think their leader, um, he was puking his guts out just seeing all this for the first time. And when I was riffing it, honestly, um, uh, I look at him, I look at the strike team leader from the first season and go, oh, you're, try you're trying to brew fucking pussy. I've been doing it for five years. Uh, things like that. Also, in my, uh, I guess, riffing it when I'm watching the series, Ayu, um, though has a very complex character, is basically em Emily from the Pizza Party Cop podcast. Like, oh my god, can you just shut the fuck up, Art? No, you shut the fuck up. I just wanna, I just wanna brood. I just wanna brood. It's, it, it's like that every time I see her. It's like, I know she has, like, the dull face, and I'm supposed to be, like, you know, sorry for her. And probably I will as the, as the series will progress. And she probably will get her personality, because episode... Three, I want to say, or four. Um, I might spoil if it's four. Um, uh, teased. Um, Nero and an Ayu going to like the car carnival, trying to get like some semblance of like hope and just basically have a day off from you know being poked and prodded from a fi multi financial corpor corporation. So yeah, things like that. Um, three basically cleaned up uh, rematches with anybody uh, Amazon's wise that uh, they didn't kill last episode and uh, also had a cliffhanger of IU and um, yeah I, have, I spoiled a little bit of episode 4 my bad anyway of IU and uh, Nero having a fight and both every time they fight shit just either cool or weird because the last time they fought in episode 2 Omega showed up and then Mizuki, his love interest in, in season uh, season one, and apparently she went dirt poor in the last five years. Her her mother's company went under. Everyone just labored her a mad scientist, and she's like, "All right, screw it. Um, give me a high caliber gun and uh, five years of training, and I'm gonna kill the shit out of Haruka for you." And she's about to do it. Um, uh, but another member from the strike team is in um the new corporation and just told him not to do it. Just like it's not the it's not the right time. Uh, I think that was the sniper guy, if I'm not mistaken. That was a cool dude. I think he downgraded from bolt action to semi auto. Uh, I'm more of a gun guy and a Tokyo guy, if you can believe that. But I'm keeping the basics for now in case anyone thinks I real still. Spoilers, I don't. Just nerf, just nerf. And I'm probably gonna prove that in the pro screds, just in case. Uh, anyway. Um, for the fight scenes, uh, it's a bit of a slow build for the first three episodes, but when they get to, I hope, um, the Toku equivalent of the hallway fights, like in season one, uh, like Daredevil-style kind of hall hallway fights, um, either with, uh, Nero or Omega or Nero and Ayu with, like, a big field of, like, disposable grunt Amazons, that would be pretty cool. Uh, and I need this, uh, I guess, I guess as wish list goes for the series, uh, fight scenes for the strike team to really... Like, work together, get their egos aside, because there are a lot of guys who have classic anime egos, like the I don't give a shit with the rifle. He's just coming in, just hit fire him with a suppressor and just doesn't even care. Uh, probably me if I was an anime character, who knows. Um, and a lot of stereotypes, like one is too serious, one is too tactical, one is too smart, I want to say? I don't know. Um, so that's basically the new corporation. They're just the next generation of guys that just want to Get shit done, get paid, get the fuck out. Just like the last year's uh, strike team. So episode three, uh, I'm a little all over the place of the first two episodes. I think that was also like that. First time around I was reviewing this and this labeling the two writer names. Now I got like three I gotta worry about. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have more things to change to say the same. Uh, Strike Team comes back at the tail end of episode 3 to basically confirm, yes, we're coming back into the game, we're gonna kick some ass, we're gonna come out of retirement. Also, uh, my favorite one was the comical shotgun guy, because I, I knew him by their weapon types, my bad in advance to all these characters and actors, my bad in advance, I'm sorry, my English, Japanese isn't that good. Uh, he came back, and, uh, again, as a, I guess now, minor teaser to season 4, uh, he kept the arm... Uh, by that, he got his arm destroyed um, last episode, last uh, season, and it's very convincing. It's like um, next uh, Star Trek Next Generation um, kind of uh, prosthetic arms, um, and it looks pretty cool. And he's like, tss, tss, like that, takes it off and just shows it to like one of the new guys. It's like, ah, what are you gonna do? It goes great for party tricks or some shit like that. I don't know. 
So yeah, um, I'm rambling, but the good kind of rambling when it comes to this Doku series. If I had to rate it for a rating for uh, so far for Season 2 of Amazon's, it's a 9. It's got to do a lot of cool uh, action scenes, fight scenes, and stand out, um, I want to say writer monologues um, for everyone to keep fighting to either work together or just have days off like Episode 4 teased, so who knows. Uh, it needs more character building, honestly, but it's just nitpicking to what's already a good uh, Toku series, so... And since we're talking Amazons, let's just hope, um, at the very least, there's the right amount of writers in separate, uh, Kamara shows. Because if you remember last year with Ghost, it lost all continuity, it lost all context, it lost all storytelling perspective. Because all those writers went to Amazons and became pretty much my favorite Kamara series of last year, so... Probably an even balance uh, on certain episodes. If I have to put through, put up with a filler in either one, that'd be fine, honestly. Or, oh, let's just do a Sentai episode for XAZ and just one. Just one toy. Okay? Uh, I think my beard's growing again, and I definitely need another haircut aside. This is Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews saying, Ham! Zons! Season 2 is really good, and, um... If this is the end card, or on the post credit, there's an end card. Uh, link to my channel. Uh, link to the script. Link to my previous video. Mm, link to my previous video. Link to my this uh, channel. And I gotta get used to this pointing thing. I, I really do. And dog. Yeah. Take care, guys. Subscribe and uh, like me. Uh, like this video if you want to see more Amazon's reviews. Uh, follow me on Tumblr so we can keep the conversation going. Obviously. And until next time. Ooh, I gotta get the Amazon's belt. Seriously. <laughs> Later. So that's it. No, no final word. No, no cutting back to us. Yeah. Yeah. No cutting back to uh, to any of you guys. Oh my. Oh. Is that a right of shooter? No, it's not. Rx's gun. It's it's a new gun. It's an Alpha Hawk. I mean Falcon Fire. Oh, damn it! I got it wrong again, did I? Yeah, you did. You better get that straight for the review. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, next review, either it will be Guardians of uh, Vlog or uh, a new nerf review, so... And yeah, if, um, Dick's here or any of the Titans, I will get to Tujin's contract. If you want me to do it first before the nerf stuff, yes, I will. Any last words? How did that pierce my armor? Dude, you're Shadow Moon. Your armor's not that awesome anymore. Any Heisei Rider could take your ass down. I kid, but I'm not. Forza can kick your ass down. Deno, Kiva... The Destroyer of Worlds, and a new father, Decade, has kicked your ass more than once. Oh, piss off. Is he trying British Kent? Yeah, it turns out. All right. I am the Century King, Kamara Black, and I will Kingstone Rider Kick him later. If so, uh, if you like this channel, please go see his previous video on, uh, what was it, uh, Channel React, his channel react with Death Battles, Megazord versus Voltron, and apparently he didn't like the runner. Voltron sucked! Yeah, and we've been hearing that all week. And uh, link to the channel if you want to subscribe. And follow him on his social medias, like Tumblr, for example. Are we ready to fight again, brother? Yes. Yes, we shall fight again. Later. I mean, really? That, that That's it? I mean, I was supposed to be one of those guys, too. Like, you guys. Anybody want my, my opinions on uh, Amazons? No! We're too busy fighting each other. Alright. See you next week, guys. I think uh, Varcho's gonna either do a vlog review of Guardians or... I don't know. Teen Titans Go. Who really knows at this point?